welcome back for another episode on sport. You know me, always delivering the good stuff for all you people out there that want to understand and learn and improve. So let me deal with all of that jargon that you need to be um, applying to your trade. I've got you covered. Alright, so we're going to be talking about blocks. I've done a video on this previously, but I weren't too happy with it. It was kind of all like them window things on the side and I was being an idiot. So I'm going to elaborate on that video. Uh, we're going to go a little bit more in depth. We're going to talk a little bit about the history of blocks, why they're used, and how best to apply them to what you're going to be doing for your chosen event, whether it be in the 60 meters, the 100 meters, the 200 meters, the 400 meters, and that's pretty much the only events that blocks are typically used for, or hurdles for women as well. Sorry, women. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. And the men's 110 meter hurdles. Well, I'm on one today, I think the sun's tearing me up, bro. I'm forgetting the events, I should know better than this. If you have any comments at all whilst watching this video, please attach them to the comments section down below and I'll be happy to give you my opinion on things. I'm not saying I'm an expert on this. However, I have been doing this sport for, what, almost 23 years. So I have a fair understanding of what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and how to give you some options on how to apply this to your event. So let's get going. First things first, for me, uh, this mechanism here is not something that's uh, a common disposition for many athletes. Even guys at the experience, even guys at the top level have to routinely make adjustments, uh, rehearse this position all the time. Because as you get faster or you get unfit, your body mechanics changes. Uh, this is a very demanding position for the body to be put in. It, is, it isn't a common disposition, it's an uncommon disposition. So think about it logically, we either spend our time standing up or sitting down or in a chair or in our bed. So it's important to familiarise your body, and I'm talking more so for young developing athletes, familiarise your body with this unit here, um, because it can be very, very demanding, and I probably said that already, but. I want you to understand the importance of how well you must drill yourself, drill the body, mainly drilling the components that are going to have to be doing a lot of the work, your feet. This is an area that people ignore a hell of a lot. Uh, your feet have to be primed and prepared and introduced to what's going to be happening. So whenever I get young athletes doing these exercises, I get them to focus on priming their feet. And what I mean by priming the feet, normally you would stand flat footed like this, but however, when you're in the blocks, it's going to carry you into a more advanced angle. You see many athletes doing so many different variations of this, whether they have their foot high up on the block like this, like a Safa Powell, for example. Blake had it kind of midway and various athletes like myself, Gatlin, Gay and various other athletes have it kind of low. 
So with that being the case, it's always a good way and a good drill to just prime your feet. So I always get my athletes to stand here normally on the line, get one foot back, and I, teach, I tell them not to keep their toes on the ground because their interpretation of keeping their toes on the ground is gonna be like this. And what you want is midfoot. Anywhere between the ending of your arch and just below where your toe starts. So it's a small parameter. Get them to position themselves where they can keep their heel off the ground. But think about having pressure or a feeling of the ground between the end of their toes and just where the arch is. It's just a small window. It's kind of small, it's not much. And you get them to learn to push off. Just get them to learn to push off in that angle without trying to press their heel down to the ground too much. This helps stiffness and gives it a good base for them to learn the behavior of their feet. <laughs> 